Okay, so we've done the reveal of the truck. Now let's talk about each, each individual product. And today we're going to be talking about the Tough Dog suspension. Nine stage adjustable shocks. Let's start off with that. Well, I'll tell you what, with the nine stage adjustable shocks, Airbag Man, oversized tires, I'm running 305, 75, or what are they? 305, 70, 16s on the original rims, so it balloons quite a bit on this. So now I've got basically like a Rubik's Cube, right? You just don't know where to start. You've first of all got to inspect the Rubik's Cube and then you can start to try and solving the problem. Well, it's not a problem, but looking for the resolution. Right, so I have the adjustable shocks. I have tires that I can deflate. I run my rears at about 45 to 50 PSI, depending on the load that I'm running. The truck weighs anything between three and three and a half ton, depending on which trip we're going on. Um, are we pulling a trailer? Maybe, maybe not. What terrain are we going on? And you factor all of these into the adjustment of your shocks and the variables become more and more and more as to which adjustment you should be running your shock, what should you be running your tires, where should airbag man, what pressure should be there, that be on, what should the height be on. So having a shock absorber that has nine stage adjustable settings for you to be able to fool around with that, you might be in a softer environment and you might want to bring your tire pressures all the way down to 10 or 8 or sometimes 5 or 6 psi depending on the soft sand. Or, like we're going to be running today on a very hard track, rocky terrain, it's been washed out and I'm probably only going to bring my tires down to probably 30 psi on the rear, probably run about 22 on the front and I'm going to be bringing the airbag man suspension down, soften that really and now I've got to play with my shock absorbers. Right, so first thing you you would normally do is probably go to the lower setting. No, I don't want that wally feeling. We're not going to be doing that much rock crawling. So you've got to find that setting, that fine tuning as to where the shock is going to give you the correct rebound. It's going to give you the correct ride. We're going to go from rocks to corrugation to rutted track and I want an all-round performance. And this is where this tough dog suspension really comes into its own. It doesn't take you three or four minutes in the vehicle and you know you're on the wrong setting. Now, for my truck, fully loaded on the tar road, I'm running setting six at the rear and setting four in the front. Now, it'll be different for your vehicle. When I go off-road, the environment that I'm going to right now, with the settings that I've spoken about on the tires, I'm probably going to run setting three on the rear and probably setting one on the front. Let's get into the truck and we'll talk some more about the suspension. rain is coming down wow it's absolutely awesome but I want to see if this suspension is as good as they say it is so I took the setting down two in the front four at the back with the tire pressure that I've got I'm going to leave the tire pressure 25 in the front I've got 33 at the back right now the airbag suspension are brought down to 10 psi so it doesn't really it's the minimum really that you've got to have it there so it's not assisting whatsoever in the suspension so we're getting the true shock and spring suspension test so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set them all the way down to zero and you can see this is pretty rocky road got a bit of corrugation and we're going to run a test and see how good this really is so let me quickly set them up and uh, then we can go back inside let's get the camera inside because it's raining 
Okay, that's that side done. Right, so let's take off. I've just opened up a can of soda. We're putting it on top of the Snowmaster fridge over here. There's no cup holder. So if you look down here, and we're gonna cruise this rutted track and see if it falls over. Oh, put safety belts on. If you look out the front, it's a pretty rutted road. So it's uh, pretty much, oh, I'm gonna take this a bit slow, otherwise I'm gonna get drink all over me. Okay, so we're navigating that okay. It seems to be okay, let's speed it up a little. We're back on the flat track. All right, ooh, bumpy, 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 is it gonna manage? Okay, now we're getting to the corrugation. And it seems to be okay. Right. Oh, water crossing, water crossing, water crossing. Film the water crossing. Okay, back. Back to the, back to the soda. And it seems to be doing okay. A little bit of spillage. Right, me. I reckon um, that's a good enough test. A little bit of spillage, not that bad. I remember they used to do adverts like this on Mercedes Benz and BMW and put a glass of champagne on the engine. I don't think they would do it off road. So, um, yeah, stupid little test. Passed the test though. Well done, tough dog. Well done.